Now, as I'm sure you're all aware, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was detailed yesterday at Gamescom 2014 in its own sort of private reveal, separate from Gamescom. Uh, it was revealed by Sledgehammer Games, which are the new makers in the uh, Activision cycle of developers within Call of Duty. There are now three developers of Call of Duty games. And uh, for me, it was a very mixed bag reaction. So this video today is literally my reaction to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's reveal yesterday. So, the first thing, that exosuit. This is pretty much central to the gameplay of Advanced Warfare. You have to have one of these things equipped and depending on which one you have or what abilities you have enabled, you can do multiple different things. At face value though, it looks very much like Titanfall's pilot system and that concerned me a little bit because what we wanted from Call of Duty was a sort of statement of intent to say look we're going to revolutionize our franchise and whilst they've done that it looks as if they've stepped in a very much similar direction to what Respawn have done with Titanfall uh, but seeing how it actually works in the game remains to be seen we haven't seen too much gameplay yet but we do know how the thing works Basically, you can customise your exosuit with multiple different weapons, perks, colours, so if you want to like, sort of be able to hover in mid-air or if you want to be able to cloak yourself or shield yourself, then, then you can do pretty much any of that with the exoskeleton. Um, but you can only have one of those at any one time. It does have a weapon ability as well which replaces the need for you to sort of throw grenades anymore, your exosuit does that for you, and there are multiple different types of explosives that you can shoot. With all these different things, apparently, Advanced Warfare is going to ship with 350 weapons. That's a massive amount of weapons, I have to say. And not all of the weapons will be projectiles and like explosives or what you'd expect to find in a first person shooter. Some of them will be like energy based so they won't actually have bullets but they'll more be like beams of energy where you can kill people. It sounds a little bit funny but the gameplay behind you will probably show it from time to time where this player is actually using an energy weapon. Which looks quite cool because you don't actually have to reload the weapon which I guess is a perk of running around and shooting people. You have to wait for it to recharge a little bit, but you never actually have to reload or put yourself out of danger or stop firing at somebody, which sounds like quite a cool concept, I think. But moving back to that number, 350 weapons, is that too much? That's what got me ticking. When I heard about 350 weapons coming with the base game, I got a little bit scared. That's just ultimately so much customization that could it make it too difficult for you to choose what you want to do? There are so many different avenues that you can't really be guided through in one route saying, right, this is the best weapon to use for this map, this is the best weapon to use with this exosuit or something like that. It could mean that you're never actually going to be able to find your most comfortable loadout within Advanced Warfare. I don't know. I mean, I haven't played it. But ultimately, 350 weapons just seems like maybe a little bit too much to me. Next, the maps. And again, this sort of involves the exosuit a little bit. Um, I've looked at all four of the maps, and I have to say with the footage that I saw during the actual reveal event, that there was a lot of jumping about, a lot of moving about, rolling over in the air, and lots of space jumping and boost jumping. and There was lots of jumping, let's put it that way. Now, Call of Duty's in the past have very much been ground focused <laughs> and they're very fast paced and action packed. The controls are great because you never really have to worry about sort of where the buttons are because as soon as you push one it instantly reacts. Call of Duty has always pretty much been fast paced, action packed and you're always on the move. That doesn't seem to have changed with Advanced Warfare but there's a lot more vertical gameplay than there used to be in the previous games. Now, with all this jumping about and sort of moving away from your enemy and making it harder to shoot somebody, is that going to make people sort of draw away from some of these game modes? Once again, there are 12 game modes shipping with Advanced Warfare. That's, a, again, a massive amount of game modes. It's not like Battlefield where there are sort of Conquest and then Conquest Large. There are all different game modes. They're not sort of similar in, in any sort of way, really. They're all sort of one game mode, next game mode, next game mode. Again, is that is that too much? I mean, am I sitting here right now and saying that there are too many game modes coming with an FPS shooter? I think two years ago we were clamoring for more customization and more content, 
And now I look at Advanced Warfare and I think, oh my god, there's too much. What am I going to do? How am I going to play the game that I really want to play all the time? I mean, for me at the moment, with the maps that we've seen, the gameplay aspect, it all seems to be Call of Duty underneath, but there's so much on top of it now that maybe it's just sort of too much, if you see what I'm trying to get at. Call of Duty's still there underneath, but there's now so much extra content on top of it that perhaps it's drawing away from the Call of Duty experience too much. I'm not too, I'm not really too sure yet. But the four maps that we did see were Biolab, Riot, which is like set in a, a prison somewhere in Baghdad, Ascend, which is like this space elevator thing, and Defender, which is based in San Francisco around the Golden Gate Bridge. It's like a bunker underneath it or, or something like that. And I have to say, I'm, I'm actually very impressed with the visuals that I've seen so far. I don't know what it's being played on. I'm guessing it's Xbox, Xbox One probably. But I have to say, the colour scheme reminds me a lot of Black Ops 2. And I absolutely loved the look of Black Ops 2. Ghost was very grey and murky, but Black Ops 2 had a lot of vivid colours to it. And the graphics were quite nice for a Call of Duty game. And I have to say, Sledgehammer have done quite well. The graphics do look quite good. Uh, but that remains to be seen as to whether that translates very well into 1080p when you're actually playing the game, <laughs> rather than watching a YouTube video. I'd like to finish by sort of trying to sum up all of these different things in one massive go. I've, I've barely even scratched the surface of this game. There is so much content that there appears to be in the base game. As I said, 350 weapons, 12 game modes, exosuits, perks, all this kind of stuff. And I'm going to try and sum it up in about a minute, and it's probably not possible. I will leave some links in the description to some articles that explain this in much more detail, but from what I can see, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare seems to be a very bold statement from Sledgehammer Games. We knew they were going for something completely different and trying to take the franchise in a new direction and something that was going to be fresh. And ultimately, I think they've achieved that for the Call of Duty franchise. But have they done it too much? The, the comparison to Titanfall is always going to be there, whether they like it or not. The reality is that both Titanfall and Advanced Warfare were developed separately apart, both took around two or three years to make, had completely separate development teams, and it's not likely that one actually copied the other. But at the same time, is all this extra content that we see on top of the Call of Duty game that we can see underneath going to take away from the experience and possibly alienate the franchise lovers. Do you think it will? Or do you think it's going to be really good for the franchise? I'm personally really excited to see where this actually goes. It will never become my main shooter because I'm just not orientated towards Call of Duty anymore. I pretty much love Battlefield and, and I always will do. But Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has got me interested. There's a lot of things in there that I like from different games that all seem to be collating into this really fast-paced, high-action first-person shooter. And that's got me really excited. And I can't wait to see more gameplay as it comes out. And I'm really interested in the single player as well. So I can't wait for that. But anyway... Thanks very much for watching today guys, it's a little bit different, it's Call of Duty after all on the Battlefield channel so forgive me for making this video but I did think it was relevant, Call of Duty is the biggest FPS game on the planet and therefore when it comes to the new one I think it's always relevant to talk about it. But leave all your comments down below today guys, thanks very much for watching, leave a rating if you enjoyed it, but until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.